husband. And what a lucky man he is. We wouldn't want that image going viral now, would we? Fine. Mm. What did I tell you when I launched this website? My pants fell down accidentally. No, after that I said something else. Oh, um, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Do you know how long it took me to crack Windows 95? Two hours. Two hours! I made Solitaire my servant. I made Minesweeper my bitch. What have I told you about sniffing me? <clears throat> we need more leaks. Well, we could always just make them up. Are you suggesting we write, write our, our own, own wiki leaks? <laughs> Example? declares war on Narnia. Yes, yes. Uh, I know Kevin Rudd makes late-night booty call to Hillary Clinton. Uh, uh, Tony Abbott is personally responsible for the seven signs of aging. Yes, yes he is. Oh, put out a press release. WikiLeaks is back, baby. And this time, nothing can stand in our way. Except an accusation of sexual assault. You really know how to ruin a moment, don't you? <laughs> Next from Good News World, the family of late billionaire Richard Pratt fights claims on his estate from a former escort saying, if only it had a health services union credit card. <laughs> if only he'd had a... Ah, forget it. Greece. Greece looks for new ways to stave off bankruptcy. Their tourism is in ruins. <laughs> we get in contact with a dead window washer via a squeegee board. Australia's chief scientist says scientific literacy among politicians is not high and Tony Abbott threatens to attack him with a lightsaber. <laughs> with more, we cross now to the floor of the House of Representatives. How was the committee meeting? Oh, mate. Walk into the foyer. Yeah. Full spread. Full spread? Full spread. Oh. We're talking cheese platters. We're talking biscuits. What kind of biscuits? I think you know. You're joking me. Aren't it assorted creams? Oh. <laughs> Kingston inclusive? Kingston inclusive. Oh, mate, you struck the mother load. <laughs> that's not all. Beverage selection? Top shelf. Oh. Uh, English breakfast, percolated coffee, iced water. You lucky bastard. And OJ. Freshly squeezed? Squeezed from the carton. What a country! <laughs> Mate, it was like the bloody Corners Club in there. I love the Corners Club, I love the Corners Club, 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 the Corners Club. Frequent flyer. You still here? No, I'm still bronze. Oh, mate, you got to get your status points up. I was ten points away and they bloody expired. Oh, so sorry, mate. Oh, I'm only talking about it. Hey, it's OK. It's always next to you. Yeah. It'll get better. Yeah. It'll get better. So, uh, the committee meeting. Oh, the meeting. Yeah. Right. The bell rings. Uh-huh. About to walk in. Yep. Well, then I spot them. Don't tell me. Mm-hmm. Triple deck out cucumber sangers. Saints be praised! <laughs> Get into it. Yeah, how was it? Terrible. No. Nah. Ruin the day. How hard is it to make a triple deck of cucumber sanger? Bread. Mayo. Cucumber. Bread. Mayo. Cucumber. Bread. Mayo. Cucumber. And so on. Until you've got a triple, triple deck of cucumber sanger. <laughs> so the meeting. Oh, no, I slipped through it. Good work. Yep. <clears throat> More Good News World very soon, including... <laughs> Royal Entry in Solar Car Challenge, unsuccessful! <laughs> or, uh, or uh, Prince Charles demonstrates his father's infamous... Rogering machine! <laughs> <laughs> That's next. Tonight, one of the biggest stories in the Southern Hemisphere. A story shrouded in controversy and mystery. To finally get to the truth, would you please welcome a former resident of Wellington Zoo in New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, happy feet!
happy feet for Penguin. So how are you? Well, I'm happy feet, so I'm friggin' happy, Paul. Mr. Feet. Yes. Uh, Cal Wilson, Christchurch Press. Hi, Cal. Uh, could you tell me where they attach the transmitter? <laughs> it's rather personal. And it's one of the reasons why you haven't heard from me lately. I had to take it off. Why? It's the breeding season. But, yeah, of course, um, you know, it's not just my feet that get happy. You know what I mean. Uh, happy feet. Uh, Tom Gleeson, Namoy Valley Independent. Um, did you enjoy your time in New Zealand? You know what? It's, it's a nice place. The most important thing if you go to Wellington is to, is to never take a poo in the morning. So you've got something to do at night. Um, Mr Happy Feet. Yeah, um, Claire Hooper, Dolly Magazine. I... <laughs> I've lost a magazine I've read. You... How do you tell if a penguin is a male or a female? <laughs> Mistakes have been made. <laughs> you know, a few vodkas you wake up the next day and, oh, gee, sorry about last night, Barry. Um, <laughs> I call him Barry because it's Barry cold down there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mr Feet, Cal Wilson, Hansard, uh, could you tell me, what was the highlight of your trip? Well, I think being on New Zealand TV was incredibly exciting because I've always wanted to be seen by more than ten people. Uh, Tom Gleeson, Gilgandra Weekly. Um, Lucky for you. I just wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted to... I just wanted to ask you, is there a Mrs. Feet? No, unfortunately, I started dating a magpie. Because <laughs> I thought, hey, it's New Zealand, close enough, what happens on tour stays on tour. <laughs> Then eventually I went out with a small man in a tuxedo. Hi, Paul. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, happy feet. Yes. Sammy J, biannual monthly review. I understand you had... Uh, I'm sorry, why is it that every magazine or newspaper that you people work for sounds like a sexual position? Uh, Tom Gleeson, Maury champion. <laughs> I tried that once, I broke my wing. Uh, Sammy J, the wheelbarrow. Just wondering... <laughs> I've got some pretty hardcore evidence here that you actually turned up in New Zealand with a job organised but not a correct visa. Well, see, we've had a lot of problems with New Zealanders coming to the Antarctic under fake seal visas. So I thought it was only fair that I went to New Zealand and took some jobs off them, you know. <laughs> Once we're warriors, hey. Mr Happy Feet. Hello, darling. Claire Hooper, E! Online. Our subscribers are very happy to know that you are single and would like to know... Is it true what they say about the size of a penguin's beak? Coming from the Antarctic, I always had the excuse, sorry, honey, it's cold. Mr Happy Feet, Cal Wilson, Bacon Fancy magazine. Uh, could you tell me who your role models are? Danny DeVito? <laughs> Mr Happy Feet, uh, Claire Hooper, New York. Post, whatever it's called. <laughs> Would you like a fish? Do you have a fish on you? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I just realised I don't have any hands. <laughs> Mr Feet. Yes? Do you recognise this? Uh. And why haven't you called me? <laughs> Logistics. That must have been one hell of a caesarean. Hopefully. <laughs> hey, hey, Tom, hold it next to your head. You're right, it could be Tom's. Yeah. Happy feet. Uh, Sammy J, random shitty blog that no one reads. Um, where do you stand on same sex marriage? Well, that once again, that's the beauty of being a penguin. If it's black and white and hugs you back, have a crack. <laughs> Just to prove he is the real happy feet. Dance, happy feet, dance! Before we go tonight, we'd like to pay a small Good News World tribute to the greatest mother in the world. That's right, my friends. 
Mother Nature. What have you done today to make Mother Nature smile? What have you done today to let her know you care? While at walking in the morn, I spied some litter at my feet. Normally I'd walk right by, but I cleared that litter off the street. What have you done today? Hey, Randy. To make Mother Nature smile. Hey, Sammy. What have you done today to let her know you care? I used to shower for an hour, water flowing all night long. Today I only took two minutes. Now I sing this happy song. What have you done today? Hey, Paul. To make Mother Nature smile. What have you done today to let her know you care? I saw a penguin on the beach, choking on a plastic bag. Tenderly, I picked him up, cradled him and snapped his neck. Snap! Snapped his neck! Got to put it out of its misery, I guess. No, I, lo I love the sound of the snapping neck. <laughs> what have you done today to make Mother Nature smile? What have you done today to let her know you care? There are many things that we can do To ease the load on Mama's back It's in your hands, it's up to you Just pick an animal up and snap! <laughs> why, we... why are you snapping necks? What's with the neck snapping, It's not really the man. point of the song. We're going for like an environmental message. Yeah, um, you're just snapping animal necks all the time. What have you got against animals? The animals are holding us back. They're holding us back. Snap them! You're out of control, I'm out of control. Yes, you're I'm out of control. control. Yes, you're out of control. control. What is your problem? What are you? What do you mean, what am I? You look like a bit of a purple turtle to oh, me. Oh, there you are. You look like a turtle. I'm not a turtle. Are you a little turtle? No, 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 turtle. No, face. Hey, what hey, is it? What? 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 Calm, what? Calm. what do you want? Listen, what? Listen, what? listen, 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 listen. It's quiet, isn't it? <laughs> It is actually really quiet. It is quiet. Yeah. Hey, you look a bit like an otter. Ooh, what have you done today to make Mother Nature smile? What have you, you done, done today to let her know you care? You can read my book and be inspired. You can look at my cookbook and feel hungry. You can lick my cookbook and blow your diet for a week. Well, that's the way it was where we were in the world Monday, September the 19th. What's coming up next week, Mikey? Well, I'm planning to attend World Contraception Day, although I might just pull out at the last minute. <laughs> Claire? I'll be checking out the Perth Fashion Festival to see what they're doing with beanies and flannies this year. Ciao. I'll be sampling the delights of the International Clean Vehicle Conference in Geelong, just as long as it doesn't clash with the putting CDs in alphabetical order jamboree in Wyala. Sammy J. I'll accidentally be making a massive Freudian cock on TV. A slip, <laughs> slip. Tom. I'll celebrate International Day of Peace on Wednesday by punching people in the face to see just how committed they are. Randy. I'll be in Adelaide at the National Catholic Education Convention giving the best possible advice to young Catholics. RUN! <laughs> and I'll talk about racial and sexual discrimination with a chicken a burger or possibly a man. 